Ain't Misbehavin' is a show that's all about the music in a time when our country was a little more innocent and much more glamorous. Set in the 1920s and 30s, it's a tribute to the talented men and women who made the Harlem Renaissance possible, and it's playing at a theater near you very soon. Adam Miller and Erica Evans are here from Theater Tuscaloosa to tell me more about it. Guys, thank you both so much for being with us today. Thanks for the Thanks invitation. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Absolutely. It is, it is my pleasure. Now, Adam, uh, before we get to Erica, who's in the show, and, and I saw some video of you, and you're fantastic, by thank the way. Thank you. Uh, just tell us a little bit about uh, the show. Set it up for us. It's a, it's a musical review, right? It is. Ain't Misbehaving is a musical review of Fats Waller's uh, music that he wrote during the 20s and 30s, and it is the period of speakeasies and juke joints, and so you've got some swing and some jive. It's got over 30 songs in it. Erica is one of five performers in the show, and she is just amazing. And I hope <laughs> she can say she's been having a good time. I have. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? It and is. This is fun music to sing, too. Isn't it, it really is. I mean, the music from, the, you know, the jazz and the lyrics and the feelings of the song, some fast, some slow. So it's like a whirlwind of 30 songs. Now, that's a lot of music. It is. Is it intimidating trying to learn that much music? Um, the music wasn't as intimidating as trying to learn the music and dance ah. while singing. So That's really the trick. <laughs> and here's some video from uh, one of the numbers in the show, and I believe this is Ain't Nobody's Business. That's right? correct. All right, tell us a little bit about what's going on with this song. Um, well, the lead singer is Mr. Will Travis and um, he's basically celebrating the fact that he has freedom and he's going to do whatever he wants to do and it's nobody's business if he wants to spend all his rent money, if he wants to drink all night. He's just celebrating the fact that he is independent and he can do what he wants to do. Now this was a time in our nation's history whenever adults were not afraid to be adults by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> it was far less PG-13. Oh yeah. And, and, and it was not... Less a, PG, less PC. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> so, if you're thinking about going to see the show, this may not necessarily be the best one to take the kids to, right? Or am I misinterpreting? There are a couple of uh, suggestive uh, moves and a couple of songs that the material is about, you know, things that I wouldn't necessarily um, say that would be kid friendly. However, I think that the rest of the show would outweigh those few moments. So I would just say, just use your best judgment, but I think they'll still have fun regardless. I think I saw a little fanny smacking going on in that video. But you'll <laughs> you see did, you did. Game, so. yeah, you're not going to see anything on stage that you wouldn't see on primetime television or hear exactly. anything. You know, I think middle schoolers and above would be fine at this show. It's so fast moving and such high energy and constant singing um, that the younger ones, a lot of the innuendos and things will go over their head. Right. Um, and, and then the older ones, mom and dad can, can explain if, if they feel comfortable. You know, it, we're theater Tuscaloosa, so we're kind right. of the grown-up theater in town. We're not the children's theater. And, there we go. And so, but, you know, we are running during Valentine's Day. Ah. And so this would make a wonderful date opportunity for folks. This is a good date night. Exactly. Show. Absolutely. A lot of romance in the show. All right. Guys, thank you both so much for being with us. Thanks Break for a leg. Me. Thank you. You can catch Ain't Misbehaving February 8th through the 17th at the Bean Brown Theater. That's out at Shelton State. For tickets and showtimes, call 205-391-2277 or online at theatertusk.com.